This is the New American Media. We are back here on the Unhappy Hour Live, the only Cleveland-centric, Los Angeles-based sports show that I'm currently aware of. My name is Brian Engelman. Welcome to the TNAM Radio Network here at the New American Media. A couple notes real quick. Want to make sure you check out our homepage, thenewamericanmedia.com. Search The New American Media on Facebook and like our page. Follow us on Twitter at American underscore media underscore and subscribe to our YouTube.com slash the new American media page because that's where we put all of our content. We ask that you disseminate it, that you comment upon it, that you that you consume it. You may also regurgitate it if you feel it is valid content. The Cleveland Browns put another piece of valid content out there. Defeated the Da Bears, Da Bears, they, they beat Da Bears. Beat the Chicago Bears yesterday by a couple of points. Close game. 18-16. Oh, that was a good year. Vintage. Vintage. Hey, trivia question. Who was our president in 1816? You can write it down as a comment. Let us know that you've listened and done your homework. But I want to say this. I, th- I think this... You know, some people say the, the the preseason is irrelevant. I don't know about that. I've never felt that way. That's where you establish who you are. And new head coach Rob Chudzinski, I will go so far as to say he is learning how to become a winning head coach. He's never been a head coach before. And now here he is learning how to win. Browns are 3-1 and one in preseason, getting ready for the season opener next Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. It's a good game. Looks good. It's nice that you don't have to start off playing, you know, the Ravens or one of the top teams in the league. It gives you a chance right away. What are you made of? I mean, hell, we, we kind of rocked the Detroit Lions, and then they – rocked the Patriots the next week, so either that counts for something or it doesn't. I don't know. They're not playing games that count yet, but I will dare say that Rob Chudzinski is learning how to become a, a, a winning head coach in the National Football League. You know, think about it. The Browns were down. Down 3 to nothing in the first quarter. Down 10 to 3 in the second quarter. Then they started coming back. Down 13 to 9. And they eventually won, 18 to 16. Brian Hoyer threw for 307 yards. Brian Hoyer, born in North Olmstead, played college at Michigan State. Spent three seasons backing up Tom Brady. You know, kind of like what that Tebow guy's doing. You know what? He played the game, and he won the game. Tell you what, I'm a little concerned in the kicking game. A little concerned. Definitely concerned. You, you take Phil Dawson out of the equation, and, and you have a whole different situation. Shane Graham, the new kicker, was held out of the game. What was it? Lower back stiffness, stor- soreness. Storeness, stiffness, whatever the word is. Tightness, is that a word? So punter Spencer Lanning filled in for him. Ended up kicking the winning 41-yard field goal with 3 minutes, 15 seconds left. Pretty good. But still, stiff back on the kicker already. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess the Browns are just going to have to score these touchdowns this year, isn't it? Isn't that the case? They're just going to have to put it in the end zone. No more settling for three. (laughs) Wouldn't that be a great silver lining? They're forced to go for the seven instead of settling for three. I'll take it. The Browns held out most of their players. You know, Brandon Whedon didn't play. Trent Richardson didn't play. Joe Thomas didn't play. Go down the list. Blah, 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 blah. They said the real dress rehearsal was last week, and we got creamed in that game. But we'll see. 
We'll see. I, I do have optimism in this year's team. I certainly do. You know, and, and out of out of the cuts, Dan Gronkowski caught a touchdown yesterday, and then he was cut tight end on the Browns, brother of Rob Gronkowski. Other than that, I mean, you know, I th that's what I take away from it, that Rob Chudzinski is learning how to become a professional head coach in the NFL. That's great. You know, Josh Gordon had a couple big catches. Not a whole lot of running. <laughs> Not a whole lot of running at all. 40 yards rushing. What does that mean? That means Trent Richardson, who I drafted in my fantasy football league, might just be a workhorse this year. And provided he stays healthy, that's going to be a good thing for me. Hopefully for the Browns. But really, they, they are, they're really thin at running back. Kind of light. So, so we'll see how, the, how it all plays out. I mean, I don't really have too much to tell you. I, you know, I, I can say... In, in, in taking a, a, a parting shot, you know, like kind of going into overtime here, just bounce around out of out of topic. You know, I will say that I'm really excited for the Ohio State Buckeyes to start playing. Really excited for that. Looking for an undefeated season again from them. A national championship this year, of course. And the Indians, oh boy, the Indians. I don't know. They're just they're just not getting it done in the clutch. This is not a good year to go into a funk. You know, not starting game one against the Tigers off with any gusto and just got swept by the Braves. So, you know, kind of down to brass tacks here. If they want a chance for the for the playoffs, losing, losing a few in a row is not going to help you get there. Four games back and you're battling, what was that, two, four, six? Yeah, there's five other teams. The Royals, the Yankees, the Orioles, the A's. And the Rays, all in the hunt within six games of that, of those wild card spots. You know, still in the hunt, but man, you can't lose three in a row at a time like this. Come on, y'all. So anyway, that's really all I got. There's not too much else going on <laughs> right now. Let's just face it. See, it's, it's the end of preseason. Most of the the key players are healthy. Whedon has shown a lot of signs of progress. And we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully, Barkevius Mingo will be healthy. We'll just see, but I'm really excited. Wore my customized Cleveland Browns jersey today. Kind of in the habit now of wearing it once a week. Hey, if we go undefeated and win the Super Bowl, maybe I'll just wear it once a, once a day. <laughs> maybe I will. Maybe I will. But anyway, congrats to the Browns and Rob Chudzinski, who's learning how to win in the NFL. We'll be back next week talking about some, you know, some really good NFL action. Maybe a, a, a preview of the Dolphins game. It's, it's, it's going to be for real at that point. So for everybody here at the TNAM Radio Network, I'm Brian Engelman. Thanks for listening to our quick hit segment of the Unhappy Hour here at the newamericanmedia.com.